Just cause four. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words the words of the developer. Rogue agent Rico Rodriguez journeys to Solace, a huge South American world home of conflict, oppression and extreme weather conditions. Strap into your wingsuit, equip your fully customizable grappling hook, subject to doing boring f***ing missions, and get ready to bring the thunder. Yes guys, it's Just Cause 4, or as I like to call it, I don't give a f*** for. Because when you Rico Rodriguez, you do not give a f***. First up guys, let's have a look at the graphics. No, let's not. Because they look fucking rancid. They look like old Meg's crusty ass. My goodness. What the fuck? What the fuck, guys? What the fuck are they? What the fuck? What are they? Are they insane? Hey, Square Enix man, are you actually fucking serious? Avalanche Studios, are you serious? Is this it? Is this what you get for £45 in your fucking office? My f***. Off. The sounds good, thank f but the graphics, look at them textures. My goodness, it looks like someone's put diarrhea all over the bloody world. The sea, the water looks trash. Just cause three look better than this. What the fuck? Anyway, what are the controls like? Because we know this is a console port, that's right. Hey, children, do you want to know what a console port is in 2018? I'll tell you. What you do is, when you're the developer of a game, you make a game specifically for console people. Do you know why? I'll tell you why. Because the greedy c**ts, that's why. They don't give a f about the PC people because there are more console gamers than PC. So they just make it for the console and then when it comes round to that time of the day when they say right old oh guys it's time to make it for the pc everybody just says nah f it just f nah just f as is does it work does it work yes it works that'll f do then and that's why just cause 4 is an absolute festering pile of stinky vomit inducing shite as far as a PC game is concerned. You can't even rebind your f***ing directional keys and some of the other keys, which means that your f***ing controls are all over the place. If you're left-handed, f***ing tough shite, mate. If you don't use Wasad, f***ing tough shite, mate. And even if you do use Wasad, some of the key binds are just f***ing atrocious. And you know something else? When you try to rebind your keys, it says, I'm sorry, we can't rebind that. You want to you wanna rebind that to you? Well, you's already taken, I'm afraid. Yes, yes, but I want to rebind it to you. Well, I'm sorry, what you're going to have to do is unbind you first because we're too f***ing lazy to just bind the key to you, which is clearly, obviously, what you want to do. Why else would you press the button to rebind the key to f***ing you if you didn't want to rebind the key to f***ing you and it's bug ridden as well there's bugs galore in this game the more i'm playing it the more bugs i'm finding and you know something guys the developers had the audacity to make a video which telling everybody that this game was a technical masterpiece my goodness a technical masterpiece are you f***ing serious anyway what's the gameplay like the gameplay it's all about the gameplay it's all about the gameplay well the story's shite um it's pretty much about this dictator who can control the weather and uh, it's pretty crap. And the weather effects, although they do look great, the tornado, there's not a lot to do with it, really. Yeah, you fly through it, you drive through it and all that. You play with it for 10 minutes and then it's like, oh, yeah, I don't give a f*** anymore. That's boring. So that's it, essentially. Um, the actual gameplay consists of a conquest map with the country broken down into zones and you control one little zone at the beginning and then when you fly around that zone or drive around you'll see all these tubes fighting as if there's a big oppressive area closing in on you and you think oh my goodness we're going to lose any minute we're going to lose I must do something so you're told that what you have to do is do a quest in one of the neighboring zones so you go over and you do a quest which consists of pressing a couple of buttons on a on a computer terminal and then holding out for a few waves of enemies uh, and then that's that done and then it says right you now must get this chaos meter at the top right of your screen all the way over to the edge and every time you do that you'll be given a squad of soldiers so i run around smashing everything up blowing all these fuel dumps up exactly like you do in just cause three 
and then I get a squad of soldiers and it says right have a look at the conquest map so I look at the conquest map look at which neighboring zones that only require one squad of men to invade in order to take it for you so you find one and then you send your squad in and you take that zone and you've spread out over the map and you think great this is like risk I've took some of your territory oh no I better guard it do I have to put guards there or something no all right well what, what, what do I have to protect it from the enemy no well, 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 what do I do then? Mm, nothing. Yeah but, yeah, but the enemy's just there. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, all those people in the tanks and all. Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about them. They're not real. It's just cosmetic. It's just an effect. It doesn't matter. You can shoot them and die, but they'll just respawn. It doesn't make any difference. It has no bearing on the game at all. Oh, so, so what's the point of having a, a, this big conquest map? And none, really. We just thought it would be funny to kind of put it in, you know, and just have you thinking that it's all, oh shit, they're going to retake the territory back. So, what's the game then? Well, that's it, you've done it. What, you mean the game is I jump into each territory, do one mission in there, and then fill the conquest meter, and then press a button, and then that's my zone. Yeah? Yeah, but, but, but once you do that, we'll give you a, an unlock. Ah, okay. Is that it? No, of course not. Bloody hell. No, the zones themselves, you have progression in the zones, like in Just Cause 3. Remember the, oh yeah, the progression. But that was like the chaos, what's it, what's, what happens in this? Well, you know them horrible, boring, fucking nonsense quests where you had to fly through fucking hoops, 12 hoops in under a minute? Oh yeah, the ones that I just never did because they were so fucking diarrhea-inducingly bad. Yes, well what we've done is, we're going to make you do them quests now because we think they're great. I know no one else liked them, but we did and we made them so in order to take over each of your own zone in progression terms and get all the good cool stuff, you've got to do each quest in each zone. So there might be three in one zone, two in another. So get flying through them f***ing hoops, motherfucker, because if you don't, you get none of the really cool stuff. And that, guys, is the game. That's Just Cause 4. It is absolutely, totally and utterly f***ing pointless. It is pointless. It is pointless. The only, I was streaming it today, and I did one quest in, I don't know, about three hours? I spent the entire time strapping people to balloons and sending them out into the stratosphere or strapping booster jets to women's asses and sending them flying across the map because that is fun. And that's all this game is good for. It's like a giant open world Gary's mod. That's what it is. And whatever you want to play with, any cool toys, look for them on the map. Do the awful shit that you have to do to unlock it and then just go and play with it because that's pretty much all this game's good for really. The story's wank, the progression's awful, the the world, the, the game world's crap. I mean it's just trees and hills. There's like now and then a little tiny copy and paste settlement and if you're lucky there'll be something you can blow up but there's not as many destructibles in this as there was in Just Cause 3, I can tell you that for nothing. There is way more to do in Just Cause 3 than there was in Just Cause 4 as far as blowing shit up. I've noticed that there's just little tiny pockets of it now and then, not really a lot of it. So I just spend my time having fun and you can have a lot of fun in this game because the toys you get are brilliant. You've got your grappling hook, which can act as a tether, uh, but you have different uh, abilities on it. You've got upgrades for it. You can set the strength. You can set it to automatic. You can set it to a tap or a hold of your button. And you can also attach balloons, like I mentioned before, and you can have different heights on the balloons, sort of the strength of the balloons. You can also have them directional with mods that you get as well by doing quests. And you also get these cool little boosters which you just attach to something and then activate whenever you want. And there's just unlimited possibilities of carnage that you can do from flying high in bl on bloody jet canisters, flying a passenger airliner across the map with no engines, just using balloons is quite fun as well. But I think my personal favorite is strapping people to canisters igniting the canister and then grappling onto it myself and just flying into the stratosphere with it. It's just f***ing hilarious. The game is great fun for doing stuff like that. It is a good laugh. I'm not saying it's a bad game. It's not. It's just a giant sandbox of fun. But as a game, as a Just Cause game, it's not that good. And that's very, very disappointing. 
it could have been so much better they could have added a whole kind of risk kind of world on this uh, conquest map and made it really good fun with purpose the game feels like a rudderless boat it's like a game without purpose it doesn't make you want to finish it it doesn't make you want to unlock the whole world because the quests are awful these quests that you have to do to unlock the regions are mind-numbing i'm not kidding i've done about i don't know 10 or 15 of them so far and every one is either escort a couple of guys out who are like f***ing terminators that never die or press a couple of buttons and hold on for the waves that come while you're protecting a radar dish or something they are all that and in fact i've never had anything other than that you know just flicking a switch here flick a switch there run around while you're getting mobbed by all these mo it's just kind of like oh hurry up will you let's just hurry up and get this mission over with because it's fucking wank let us just give us me prize so i can go and tether some cars to a cow and then fire some explosives up its ass and project it up to the fucking stratosphere because that's that's what this game is all about it's got nothing to do with the shitty story, the shitty quests, and the shitty progression. It's about attaching f***ing boosters to llamas' asses and sending them off to the f***ing moon. That's what it is. That's all it's pretty much good for. And that's why I'm not thumbing this up. How can I at £45? But it is fun. And I've had some hilarious moments this afternoon streaming this. It was so much... I'll probably stream it again at the weekend. Because it is, it is a fun game, but... It's very disappointing if you like Just Cause 3, and even more disappointing if you like Just Cause 2. It's just lazy, bad put together, awful graphics, shitty port. On the bottom of your exam paper, Mr. Developers, must try a lot harder.